Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you five techniques you can use to make your workouts at home more intense, even if all you have is just a pair of light dumbbells. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and ding the little bell. All right, we're gonna jump right into this, guys, but I need to take my pre-workout first. This is what I'm taking right now, Pre-Fierce by True Fierce, and I've been on this for about two weeks. I will be giving you guys a full review here really, really soon. I'm really liking this stuff so far, though. Only taking a half scoop here, because that's all I really need. Let me stir this up and chug it real quick and we'll get started. Now I do have a link in this video's description here for this product. You can go directly to my website, themuscleprogram.com and read more about it. All right, so the first technique I wanna share with you guys, I call this concentrated reps plus pump reps. And basically what this means, let's just demonstrate this with two dumbbells doing hammer curls, okay? So we're gonna do 10 concentrated reps. So constant, what I mean by concentrated, I mean like really slow controlled and concentrated reps <laughs> so you're really forcing the muscle to work okay and you're taking time on the descent on that negative movement now i say 10 reps you know do whatever you want to do it might be eight reps it might be 15 reps but the goal is is to start your set out doing extremely focused and concentrated reps just like that okay and again, I want to reiterate, especially on that descent, on the negative part of the movement, okay? Just like that. Now, once you do, you know, as many as you can do, maybe up to right before you hit failure, then I want you to rest about five to seven seconds. And then I just want you to pump out as many as you can possibly do after that, okay? So you did a concentrated set, then you did what I call a pump set. And the goal with that technique is to really focus on forcing the muscle to work, but then just annihilating the muscle after that, just taking it to that next level of extremity. So that's gonna get you a major pump, and you can do this pretty much with any exercise. Now, this next technique I wanna share with you is something you might be familiar with already. It's called rest pause sets, but this is really important for working out at home, and it really comes in handy because you can push your muscles to that next level even with lighter dumbbells. So we're gonna do an incline bench press, or incline dumbbell press, rather, what you're gonna do is just do normal reps, you know. Now, once you finish that set, you're gonna rest for about 10 to 15 seconds, and then you're gonna turn around and do another set, same exercise, using the same weight. And these are just normal reps. I know you may be thinking, well, Jason, you just showed me the concentrated plus pump reps. <laughs> you guys are in the first technique there. What's the difference? So the difference is going back to the concentrated pump reps, those are extremely controlled reps followed by kind of really fast, quick reps. Rest pause sets are just like your normal reps that you're doing. So just thinking, I'm just doing a normal set here. Then you're going to rest 10 to 15 seconds and do another normal set. Now, the caveat here is on that rest pause portion of the set, that last part, you're going to get just a fraction of what you would normally get. So just be aware of that. Now, this next technique is something you're going to be familiar with is supersets. However, we're doing a specific type of superset. We're going to be supersetting our agonist with an antagonist muscle group. So let's do chest and back, for example. So you would just do something like a press, any type of press, dumbbell press in this case, pump out, you know, as many reps as you can do there. Then immediately after you finish that, you're going to walk over to your next exercise. And if you're at home, it's going to be pretty close. And <laughs> you're going to do the, you're going to train the antagonist muscle, which will be our back. So we can do rows at this point. Okay, so you're basically supersetting a chest exercise with a back exercise. You can do the same thing, biceps with triceps. If you want to do quads with hamstrings, like earlier today before I filmed this video, I did a leg workout out here. I did a set of squats with dumbbells and I turned around and trained that antagonist muscle group, which is my hamstrings, by doing stiff leg deadlifts with dumbbells. So that is your supersets, but you're supersetting an agonist with an antagonist muscle, the opposing muscle. Now this fourth technique I wanna share with you, this is really gonna up 
your workout intensity, especially if you're working out at home with a pair of light dumbbells. I'm not gonna demonstrate this one, but we're just gonna call this ultra high rep sets. And what I mean by ultra high reps is anything over 25 reps. So you wanna hit that 25 rep mark. Now, earlier I did a leg workout as I just told you. And one of the things I do when I squat with light dumbbells is I try to do at least 25 reps. So four sets of 25 is going to give you 100 total reps. So you've got a ton of reps. You're pumping a lot more blood into that muscle. And if all you have is a pair of light dumbbells, that's the perfect technique to use to get a really good and intense workout at home. All right, so this fifth and final technique I want to share with you, and this is a really simple concept. We're just going to do unilateral sets. But what I mean by that is, and we're going to use the seated dumbbell press as an example. So we've got our dumbbells. Push both of them up right press both up and then just bring one down okay while you're holding the other dumbbell up and push that one back up bring the other down so what you're doing here is you're applying constant tension to your muscles by having to hold that one extra dumbbell up or I say extra that one dumbbell you haven't hold that up the entire time okay so you're applying a constant tension which is increasing your time under tension and we all know that time under tension leads to muscle growth so this is a great way to make light dumbbells feel a lot heavier like these little 20 pounds here after you do 10 reps of unilaterals or 15 reps they're gonna feel like 50 60 pound dumbbells and the cool thing is you can do that with rows as well so if you're doing like rows you know we just did those for our supersetting uh, agonist antagonist you could pull both dumbbells up like that release one bring it back up release the other bring it back up and that's going to give you a super intense workout there. You can try that with curls. If you're holding the dumbbells up like this, bring one down, you know, while you're holding the other up. Uh, you can do that with practically any dumbbell exercise that you're using both arms with. All right, guys, so there's some awesome ways you can make your dumbbell workouts at home more intense. And even if you have a light pair of dumbbells, you know, if that's all you have, use what you have and make it work. Don't make having just a light pair of dumbbells be an excuse for being lazy. So train anyway, use these techniques. Also, real quick guys, the pre-workout that I'm taking right now is Pre-Fierce by True Fierce. There's a link in this video description where you can read more about this directly on my site, themuscleprogram.com. Guys, please leave me any questions that you might have or comments about this video. I'll be happy to, to help you with any of these techniques. And until the next video, remember, excuses don't build muscle.